I've got this Sir Badger 30 here with the matching Sir 212 cab with vintage 30s in it. And uh, this is, uh, I'm selling this, it's up on my reverb page, so maybe that's how you're seeing it. So this will serve as a video uh, demoing the amp head and the cab, you know, for both listings. And uh, if it's not still up there, then here's another video of a really, really cool amp. So the, it's actually wired into the 4 ohm port, and it's because of the way the speakers are wired. Uh, which I believe is parallel. <clears throat> I honestly usually just run one speaker, so I had to look that up when I got it, but when I did get it, I looked it up and I made sure that it was right. So I think it's parallel, but whatever it is, it's correctly plugged into the 401. So this would be the amp that you're getting if you buy this off here. I'll do a couple different guitars. Right now I just got my uh, Les Paul, it's just stock, you know, it's 2010, um, nothing crazy in it. Uh, started with the uh, coil tap up on the neck position, but uh, I'll uh, keep it down and kind of hear some good, uh, some good tones here. And I've got a uh, Royer and a uh, SM57 on the cab. something. I don't know why that is. Uh, so right now I've got the drive at like uh, 10, uh, bass at 11, middle at 11, treble at 1, and I've got the gain at like 10-ish um, also. And then the power scaling, which is great for the bedroom volumes. If you've never messed with one of these amps before, I mean, you can really uh, play this thing through this cab super quiet and, you know, not, you know, wake people up. Um, and it still sounds pretty good. I wouldn't record with it, but it sounds pretty good. Um, so I've got that at about like two, and it's you know it'll get pretty loud. Um, here it is. I've got the effects loop going here, so I've got a striving flint in the effects loop. I'm just here for some reverb. Just that guy a little bit there. Checking the levels. Just making sure it's sounding good. So yeah, the effects, effects loop works, no problems there. There is some delay, DOD rubberneck. here. I think it's their Lawler pickups. I think it's the blondes, but it could be the, uh, uh, it's called the black face. I actually do not know on this one, but it sounds like a strap, you know, so that's, that's the point. Back one of these mics off a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
And I didn't really gain it up uh, with the Les Paul, but the Greer pushed into it, like that's that's kind of you know what it sounds like when you know when you gain it up. Here, I'll do, go ahead and do it with the strap, drive down a little bit, make sure not clip. <laughs> stuff with it. There's a strap and let's hear a uh, telly. Another Nash. Now, kind of not fair here because, you know, for those of you who wanted to see what this sounded like with a uh, actual telly, this one's got a P90 in it, but it still sounds pretty good. So, here's a little bridge. <laughs> you know pretty well and I mean it does you know with single coil guitars it, it cleans up a lot more you get it nice and clean between now on the P90 and the bridge which I think on a telly just side note not about this amp but P90 and uh, bridge middle position on a telly is like the sickest sound to me I love it. Thank you. 
tasty. All right, here, I'll gain it up a little bit. Here's gained up P90. And hold on. thinking of buying one of these amplifiers or if you're perhaps looking at this very amplifier and thinking of buying it, uh, maybe this will help convince you. <laughs>